Hi guys, this is Sumit and welcome back to Knowledge Modulation Studio. In this video, we are going to see most important interview questions as a Linux administrator. Interviewer may ask you the different types of questions which based on your day-to-day -day activity at your office. So, how to answer all these questions? We'll see in this video the most important questions which I have covered in this video. So, these questions will help you to crack the interview as a Linux administrator. Watch this video you carefully till the end so that you can crack this interview without wasting time let's continue our video the first question is how to build backup in linux there are so many databases or very very important files which we have to take backup regularly interviewer may ask you that how to take backup in linux so for that questions you have to answer like to take a backup we have to archive those files or the directories which we have to take backup after this archiving all these files we have to use the rsync command to copy all these files to the particular location additionally we can use dd command to copy so by using this process we can take backup in Linux system. The next question is about what are the types of file system in Linux. So there are file systems like ext4 then xfs and then btrfs. So ext4 is most commonly and widely used the file system in Linux systems and the most of the Linux system and then xfs it is a little bit higher version of the ext4 or which can be used in the enterprise editions operating systems storage like devices. btrfs it is the uh, advanced file system which is not yet most popularly used but yes maybe in upcoming days we can use this file system so these three are the main file systems before that ext2 or ext3 and these types of file systems as well but right now we are using the ext4 file system type what are the most popular or most common networking commands used in linux so there are mostly used commands like if config ip press root or root and then net stat ping these commands are regularly uh, used by any linux administrator by using if config command you may configure the network by using ip command you can get the network details by using route command you can configure the routing table by using the net stat command you can check the statistics of your network like if you want to check the connectivity from one network to another or from one uh, your your local system to any particular website then uh, for the testing the statistics for the particular website you can use the net start command then ping command shows you the connectivity in between the two devices so these are some of the basic and the most important commands networking commands used by any linux administrator in linux systems what is the difference between softlink and hardlink in simple manner softlink is a shortcut of a particular file or it indicates the soft link of particular file whereas hardlink is a direct link to the particular file softlink is nothing but the shortcut of a particular file and hardlink is nothing but the copy of that particular file softlink we can create over the cross partitions if the, there are two different partition or two different types of file system then we can create this soft links but in case of hard link it is not possible we cannot create any hard link over the cross partition the next one is about server patching server patching is nothing but pushing the security package or any updates related to the operating system we have to push all these packages to our server if we are doing it manually then we have to use the agents like yum apt-get we are using yum in red hat systems centos systems whereas apt-get by using apt-get we can install those packages or send that package to the server in uh, ubuntu systems automatically uh, we can done this by uh, by using automation as well like if we have uh, configured Ansible like uh, configuration management tool then also we are by using that configuration management tool we can push that packages to our server so this is related to the server patching what is LVM LVM is logical volume management we can create modify or resize the system partitions by using the LVM it gives you some benefits like uh, snapshotting mirroring and a stripping like advantages lvm is playing very important role in any linux file system or the linux server the next one is about the sharing server like samba server 
do you know samba server or if you know samba server how we can configure it mostly we use the samba server to uh, share the files from one operating system to the linux operating system like windows to linux or linux to windows if you want to share any files then we need the samba server to be configured on our system so to configure the samba server we have to edit the config file of the samba basically we have to install the samba on our server and in etc slash etc slash samba slash config file slash samba dot uh, config we have to make some changes like uh, we have to edit the configuration file we have to give the work group name and the server name and etc details which uh, required to make connection uh, to the server and to uh, to the local network our network uh, or work group or the domain so we have to configure all these things and then we can use samba server to share the files between windows to linux and linux to windows permission in the linux systems every user has the different permissions in linux systems there are total three permissions like read write and execute in linux systems depends on the uh, users group and the owners you will get the permissions by default for the users there are read write execute permissions and you can change this permission by using chmod command you have to uh, run command chmod then which permissions you have to assign to the particular user like 777 for read write execute and then username these permissions will be set to the your user what is the difference between ip table and firewall d uh, secure any linux system we have to configure the firewall we have to make some rules uh, to access your any file system or any application so for that purpose we use this ip tables and firewall d so the main difference in between ip tables and firewall d is ip table is command line tool for configure linux kernels in build firewall firewall d is a demo that provides the uh, firewall configuration management interface IP table is more easy to configure and we can uh, use IP tables to configure the static rules whereas firewall D is a wide range of the daemon by using which we can configure the dynamic rules. What is grub and lilo or lilo and what is the difference between grub and lilo or lilo? These two are the bootloaders for the Linux operating systems. Grub is very uh, fresh and very new bootloader for the Linux system and it is used by various operating systems as a bootloader whereas Lilo has also a bootloader but it was used previously in some of the operating systems and now most of the operating systems are upgraded to the Grub. So if you are looking at the uh, Linux Ubuntu or the CentOS or Red Hat system then they are using the Grub bootloader. What is SSH and how we can connect to the server by using SSH? SSH is nothing but the secure shell protocol. By using this protocol we can connect to any remote computer or any remote system by using this SSH protocol. It uses two keys or key based authentication like we have to generate the public key and the private key and we have to keep the private key at our server and the public key at our end so that by using our own key we can connect to the particular server and to generate these keys we can use the putty or putty chain applications to generate and to connect with the server by using this SSH keys. How do you find that how much memory is utilized by your server? So there are several commands by using that you can find how much uh, memory is getting utilized. But the simple most and the most common command is the top command. By using the top command you will get the, all the statistics, all the CPU uses or the swap memory uses, your physical memory uses and everything you will get as an output of this top command. So you can find out how much exact memory or how much memory is consumed by which process or which applications. The next one is what are the demons? Demons are nothing but the background processes which are running continuously in background in Linux system. So continuously they are running and to boot our system at the starting of our system there are some applications which needs to be run. For such a type of actions we need these demons like networking purpose for the logging and a similar kind of tasks. These demons are very helpful. What is LDAP and how to configure it in Linux? LDAP is lightweight directory access protocol used for accessing and maintaining distributed directory information services over an IP network. It is used to store and manage user information such as username, password and other user attributes. To configure LDAP in Linux, you will need to install LDAP client packages and configure the LDAP server. Once the server is configured, 
you will need to create user account and set up the authentication methods. Finally, you will need to configure the LDAP client to connect to the server and authenticated user. The next one is CronTab versus Anacron in Linux. CronTab is used to schedule jobs to run periodically at certain times or dates, while Anacron is used to run commands periodically. CronTab is typically used for system maintenance or administration, while Anacron is typically used for user level tasks such as running backups. So guys, these are the 15 most important Linux administrator interview questions. So guys, this is it for now. Uh, if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also share this video with your friends so that they will also get an idea to crack the Linux administrators interview. And thanks for watching this video. Keep watching. Thank you.